All right, Shalom, I'm Mikey. <clears throat> I'm going to start off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son in their true names, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. A double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, Slouch Apostles, and honors and salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of this earth, man, that's pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. Um, you know, man, we 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 in these last days, man, and you know the Lord is twerking all of these miracles throughout the world, man. Uh, when I say miracles, I mean woe miracles, miracles of destruction. It's miracles in our eyes, man, because you know we can we can truly see that the Lord is making His visitation felt throughout the world, man. You know, He's causing all types of fear, like people don't know who he is and what his name, but they fear the force behind these natural, so-called natural uh, catastrophes, man. But we all know they're not natural. We all know that they're spiritual, spiritually controlled by the Most High, you know? But uh, basically, uh, the topic uh, is on sluggards, man. Uh, you know, and this is something that, that brothers really got to start zeroing down in, man, because amongst amongst the camps man you you get you got a lot of sluggards mixed with sincere brothers you know and a lot of these sluggards man they they think they really believe that that they're going to be able to bullshit their way into those chariots and bullshit and play and clown their way and uh hypocrite their way through Jacob's trouble man but you fail to understand those things are set specifically for you fucking sluggards to be taken from amongst the elect man you know it's like the lord is is like like that old saying how many licks does it take to get to the center of the uh or the or the, or the, or the lighted pop whatever the fuck you call it little thing man you know so all these different judgments that that we're going through the lord is is shaving all that dead weight away man so all you brothers that's in these different camps man you know what i'm saying same thing go for our camp man you you brothers that's in these camps, man, that's just just being sluggards, man. You know, you 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 may want to want to uh pay attention. You know, I'm gonna open up uh with the book of Proverbs, uh the 13th chapter. I already got it on the screen in the fourth verse. It says, uh, the soul of the sluggard desireth, you know, and he and hath nothing, because you know. You got, you know, these guys, man, that's amongst sincere brothers. They actually believe that they're going to get the same blessings that these sincere brothers that's really out here diligently, that's putting forth effort, you know, to get the camp on time, you know, putting forth effort, not only to, to get the camp on time, but to study, man, to apply this, to apply this word, make, making time for Akim, you know, but you got guys in this thing, man, it's like, Shit, you barely see them on on Saturday is the day that you bring them out, that you bring it out, and 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 some of the guys that you do see on Saturdays, you know, when it comes down to teaching, throughout the week, man, they basically in the world, and and a lot of Jake figure figure just because you watch a few videos of the elders, you good for the rest of the week, man. That don't validate you, bro. You got to you got to you got to be a man of the Lord around the clock, man. Not just because the camera's rolling, and 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 you're around other brother that's sincere. And you just want to seem like you amongst those brothers, man. Like I say, you can fool men, but you can't fool the Lord. So it says the soul of the slugger desire. You know, you guys are amongst amongst us thinking that you just that you're just gonna slide your way into this thing, you know. But the scripture says, and have nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat, man. You know, and that, that word slugger, as you can see right here, man, is uh art. Cell, at cell, at cell, and it's basically you know sluggish, lazy man. It means lazy man. You know when it come down to, to doing stuff, doing you do more shit in the world. You're more energetic behind doing shit for this society than you are doing for the Most High. You know, so it says, but the soul of the diligent, and that word diligent right there, of course, is is corrupts. Which means short pointed, short, diligent, strict decision, trench, moat, ditch, masculine, gold. But basically, uh, sharp, man, on point, man. 
You know, brothers that's taking this thing serious, being consistent, being persistent, you know, being dependable, being a brother, man, not a damn niggard all the time. It's like 90 percent of this. Like when you when you in the camp and you do a self analysis and you look at yourself to all the other arguments you, and, and, and you say, man, about 90 percent of the time I'm bullshitting. I'm only a true brother about 10 percent of the fucking time. man. You know, you got to start thinking on a grand scale when things hit the fan. If if you don't have uh trust amongst your Akim right now on this side, man, you 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 guys that's playing, bro, that thinking you getting away with it, you know, you're gonna be fucked when Jacob's trouble hit. Nobody gonna trust your ass amongst the Akim. Nobody gonna trust you, man. So it says, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. The law gonna be with the serious brothers, man, with the diligent brothers, with the persistent, consistent brothers, you know. The Lord going to be with those brothers in the time of trouble, man. But you guys is out here playing and bullshit, man. You guys going to catch holy hell in that day, man. You going to catch holy hell. All right. So let me go to, uh, since I'm in Proverbs, let me skip the chapter 20 right quick. All right. Uh, down verse four. Okay. It says, uh, this is Proverbs chapter 20, verse four. It says the sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Meaning like, you know, when shit, you know, like the Lord not going to just make it an easy landslide, man, for you to just come in this thing and just do it, bro. You know, you know, it's like it's called laboring for a reason. You know, if you're going to be in the spirit where where you, you're not going to feel good. You're going to be in the spirit where you got a lot of other bullshit in this world going on. That's the way the Lord set it up for your ass, man, for you to be able to say. I had all of these negative things come to try to stop me from doing the works of the Lord. But through the spirit of Yahweh Bashimi, I overcame those things and I did the works of the Lord. And you're going to be blessed for those things. But you got guys who just who, who just don't have. It's like you don't have no limit of putting this truth to the side, putting the law to the side, man. And it's and like I say, man, this is time. You know, brother's not going to be getting this, this this fucking pass like this uh, for too much longer, man. You know, the law finna finna single all you sluggards out, man, because you're nothing but pausing to the sincere brothers, man. Sincere brothers, you know, come to camp and, and they energetic, you know, throughout throughout the week. Those brothers are consistent. They call and they, they minds in the scripture. They, they mind on the spirit. And you know where to be found, man. You on the fucking island some goddamn well, man. In the, in the midst of fucking wicked motherfuckers, man. On the wick, you know, it's like you, 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 your your spirit is is far away from where it should be when when you're in overtime, man. That's just like if 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 you're in a, a fucking close game and the game have went in the overtime and you one of the starting players and it's time for you to step up and you off in the motherfucking concession stand ordering some fucking nachos and cheese, man. You know, that's what you you sluggers look like, man, in, in this thing, bro. And it's not fair for the sincere Akim who really putting in work, man, who really trying to get this thing, man. You know, they see that. That's a fucking distraction to brothers, man. You know, brothers coming in this thing like like somebody owed them something, man. The Lord don't owe you a damn thing, man. It is an honor for your ass to be out here pushing the word for the Lord, man. To be a part of this is an honor, man. You know? So it says, uh... <clears throat> So it says the slugger would not plow by reason of coal. Coming up with all kinds of excuses. I can't do this. I, I can't do that. I, I got to go do this. 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 Every fucking excuse in the world. You know? So it says, therefore shall he beg in harvest and have nothing. When shit hit the fan, when Jacob's trouble hit the fan, your ass, your sluggard, lazy, niggard ass is going to look around and you're going to realize, damn, man, ain't none of that I can run around me. Why? Because when we were on this side, the Akim saw you were full of shit. The Akim saw that you was a fucking hypocrite. The Akim saw that that you that you're not a dependable brother, man. You know, you dead fucking weight. You know, when shit hit the fan. Any brother in his right mind that's spiritual, that has a spiritual discernment, you can see these guys, man. You could see these sluggards that's amongst you, and a lot of these guys gonna. You know, if, if they continue to be amongst you when shit hit the fan, man, they're going to get a lot of brothers killed, man. You know, so 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 when you go back into Ezekiel nine and six, man, the scripture says that the judgment begins with with the Lord's sanctuary, man. 
so all you guys that consider yourselves prophets of the Lord, man, and you're not taking this thing serious as you should be, judgment is going to begin with you, man. The Lord not finished dealing with, with, with his prophets yet, man. Well, I should, I should say you false prophets, you know? All right. Let me go to uh, 26 and 26. Hold on, hold on, watch you. Hey, brother, hey, what's going on? I'm what's up? On your cousin house. My phone don't get no service up yet. Hold, hold, hold on, man. I'm trying to do a little comfort right quick. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, man, let's just go back to what I'm doing, man, niggas, man. But anyway, let me, let me let the spirit keep going and let me finish. All right? Uh, that ain't nobody but a fucking demon, man. Uh, let me skip up to 26, verse 16. Okay, it says... uh. Verse 16, it says, the sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. And that's the re that's the way these guys feel in their mind. Like, these, the, you know, the, you know, you so comfortable. You've been being, a, you know, uh, what's the word? Riding brothers, sincere brothers coattail all this time. And you get to this point and you feel like, 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 you know, you got it. I'm like, oh, I got it all figured out, man. You know, I got this. You know, I know who the devil is. I know my nationality. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have to do all that stuff like that. I got it. I'm, I'm already sealed in the lake, man. A lot of you guys, man, you, you, your, your spirits come off like that, like you got it already, man. And you got brothers that try to tell you the word seven men, and let you know seven is completion. You know, of course, there will be seven righteous men. You know, a, a, a man of the Lord try to tell you, hey, bro, you need to slow down. Hey, bro, man, you need to you need to you need to step it up, bro. You you, you, you tripping. I, well, where you at, man? Like, what's happening, bro? Show yourself a, a step. You know, any any type of general situation that a sluggard would have, man, you know, and you try to tell you tell a lot of these guys, man, and and, and they get in their feelings, man. They get emotional. So, uh, some of them shut down. They stop talking to you, cut communication with you. Some of them run. You know, and some of them just fake the funk, man. Just be in the midst of you, just faking the funk the whole fucking time, man. You know, and like I say, man, you guys that that don't want to be a part of this, man. Nobody's forcing you to be a part of this thing, man. Nobody's forcing you to be a part of this thing. Do us and yourself a reason. I mean, do do us and yourself a uh, favor by just doing going and doing your own thing, man. Go 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 off in La La Land if you feel comfortable being in La La Land. Go off in La La Land. Because the angels, the angels see you, man. They see all of the, the fuckery that you're doing. Okay, go to um Revelations uh three right quick, make it fast. Fucking demons, man. Three and sixteen. All right, it's Revelations three sixteen, man. Yahweh shot speaking. It says so. Then because thou art lukewarm, that word lukewarm is uh click. Clearos, clearos, which means tepid, lukewarm, metaphorically of the condition of the soul, wretchedly fluctuating between a torpor and a fervor of love. Basically, you just fucking in limbo, man. You don't know if you want to go right or left. You don't know if you want to be a man of the Lord or a wicked ass two third, man. One one day you're a man. One day of the week you're a man of the Lord. Not even that full day. Two day, two hours of that day you're a man of the Lord, and the rest of the week you just a fucking nigga, man. Like, and you really think the Lord is not seeing that? You really think that the angels is not looking at that, man? You really see that this all this destruction is happening on the earth. All these prophecies are coming to pass back to back, back to back, back to back. And this is what you Negroes can result to? Fucking off, man. You know? So it says, um, so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. You're not going to be saved, man. Your ass going to be out here. Faking the funk, man, all the way until the, the um the, the famine of the word comes, man. And you're gonna look around and gonna find out and none of the I come around your ass, man. Why? Cause you're not trusted. You need to examine yourself, man. All all of you brothers and you brothers, you guys know who you are, man. That that's in that's in these camps, man, and, and just basically fucking just sucking up air, man. Do something, man. You know, do something for the Akim. You know what I mean? It's small stuff. Small things you brothers can be doing, man. You know? Because when 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 the Lord pulls the plug, you're going to be wishing that you put forth all the effort that you could have possibly put in when you had the opportunity to do so. You know what I'm saying? 
So let me go to uh Matthews right quick. Matthew 24. Like you guys really think you're gonna gonna get on them chairs, man. But the Lord got something for that ass, man. Go to verse 38. Okay. It's Yahweh Shah speaking. Um uh, Matthew 24, verse 38. It says, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be, you know, we, we, we you, the brothers, the, the brothers all throughout GMS, man, you know, pushing this word out to the world, man. It is, it is, it, it is no reason why nobody on this earth should know, you know, if you're an Israelite that you should, there is no reason nobody on the planet earth should know that they're Israelite if they're seeking they're seeking truth man you know it's all over the world so that trumpet is sounding from the prophets telling people that this destruction is coming that jacob's trouble is coming the day of the lord is upon us so when it happened the same way the flood came when 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 this day when the day of the lord come upon you people you're going to be just like the people that was beaten on the on, on the ark trying to get in the ark begging Noah to open it up man you're going to be begging the prophets of the Lord. You, you sluggards included are going to be begging the sincere brothers for mercy. Please, huh? please, huh? please, huh? you know, so it says, um, verse four, then here we go, man. It says, um, so shall also the coming of the son of man be verse 40. Then shall two be in the field, you know, and we all, you know, this world is the field, man. You know what I'm saying? You can look at that word field literal, literally, and you can take that word field as being symbolically, man. You know, and you got you got you got guys, you know, prophets. We call ourselves prophets. We're all out here in the field, man. Whether you sincere, whether you're a false prophet, nevertheless, your ass in the field. You might not be out there on the in the field like your ass supposed to. You might come once a month. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or when you when, when you or when you do come, you know you acting like you are holy rolling full of full of fucking filth, man, full of fucking filth, filth and shit. So it says, then shall two be in the field, one sincere brother, one fucking slugger, trying to ride his coattail and through, throughout this truth, man. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken on a chariot. The angel gonna come and deliver the sincere brother, man. And the other left, your sluggard ass, man. You're gonna you're gonna be left, man. You guys is out here playing and 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 thinking that that the Lord is not watching things, man. It's a reason why some brothers are serious, man, are sincere, and you you guys don't take that to heart and be like, man, you know what, man, it's it's it's, it's, it's not fair, and I know the Lord watching, man. You know these brothers being sincere, these brothers pushing, these brothers going hard, but I'm I'm not doing nothing at all. You know, so you're gonna be one of those guys that's gonna get left, man, and whatever, man. So like I say, bro, that's all I you know pretty much wanted to just get in the went a little longer than what I intended for it, man. But like I say, man, this message is for you, you sluggards, man, amongst these counts, man. You know, you need you need to get up or get the fuck straight up, man. And 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 with that, I hope you know this this put a little fire on you, brother spirit that's out there that's feeling like a days ago or whatever. You 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 brothers know who you are, man. You know, so with that, Lord willing, you 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 guys get it together. You know what I'm saying? And 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 uh, step up to the plate, man, before it's too late. And uh, with that, you know, we just give all praise, glory, honor to the heavenly Father and the Son again, man. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, all day, every day, man. Kwam Yahshua.